Hawaii lawmakers actually did something this year that could make it easier to get the health care that you need. And that's a relief because official reports show that the islands need almost 800 doctors and almost a thousand nurses to handle our health care needs. In this video, I'll explain why we have a shortage in the first place and then talk about what the legislature did to help improve the situation. The main reason it's difficult to access health care in Hawaii is that the islands don't have enough doctors, nurses, or other medical professionals. And Hawaii's doctor shortage is even more of a hardship on the neighbor islands where residents often have to travel all the way to Honolulu for treatment or sometimes go without treatment. She was diagnosed with childhood, a, child, a form of childhood cancer. We fly over um, to Oahu several times a month. Some days are where we sleep over for uh, two and a half days and then some are just day trips. We have to fly early in the morning. Most times it's the first flight. Um, so for me, um, I have to wake up at uh, like four o'clock in the morning. We have no endocrinologist. We have no outpatient neurologist. We have no oncologist. We don't have a psychiatrist on our island. We have no geriatrics. We have no palliative care medicine. Our ophthalmo ophthalmologists won't see Quest patients. When I when she first got, got diagnosed, I was so scared. My brain was in a fog. And so having to coordinate everything was really hard. And um, I couldn't really think um, a lot of times. And I, I was starting to, you know, I was juggling so much um, with her flights, with her her appointments. Okay, you know, um, oh, she's got to do blood tests. Oh, you got to, you know, we got to do all this stuff. and juggling all these things that, you know, for a while there, I started to just drop the ball on certain things. And so um, just having that extra time to just sleep would have been amazing. It was, it was, it was really hard. So where can we find more doctors and other medical professionals to help address our health care needs? Well, why not simply recruit them from the mainland? There are probably many doctors and nurses on the mainland who would love to practice in Hawaii. But unfortunately, it's difficult to lure them here because Hawaii has really strict occupational licensing requirements. Basically, doctors and other healthcare workers who hold licenses in other states are not allowed to practice in Hawaii unless they first obtain a Hawaii license. So what's wrong with that? Well, because of Hawaii's strict licensing requirements, it can take up to a year to obtain all the tests and pay all the fees to obtain a Hawaii license. And that gets in the way of doctors on the mainland who are already licensed and who want to work in Hawaii. So what's the solution? Well, one solution is to pass a law that would let Hawaii join interstate medical licensure compacts like nearly all other states in the nation have done. And there's good news too. Our state lawmakers just passed a bill which, if the governor signs it, will allow Hawaii to join the Interstate Medical Licensure Compact, which covers 37 other states. Doctors in each of those states can easily set up shop in all the other states in the network, and that would apply to Hawaii too, and that's if the governor signs it. And that's helped many states increase the number of doctors in their state. Every state that has joined the compact has seen an increase of at least 10%. Some states it's as high as 20, others it's as high as 30. Every state that has joined has seen an increase in the number of physicians licensed in their state. It also has a ripple effect in that if you have a licensed physician, they can supervise physician assistants. Now you've got more providers that are that are under the that, that are available for people to say. So if this is signed into law, the Hawaii Medical Board's licensing division would represent Hawaii in the compact and that would ensure that all the proper protocols were followed in the best interest of Hawaii patients. The reason why I think the compact is a stronger approach and a better patient safety approach is that your board in Hawaii will issue a license that's full and unrestricted using the compact process to that physician, which means if I'm a patient in Hawaii and I have a, a, a difficulty or an, a, a situation where I wanna make a complaint or um, I have an adverse, God forbid, I have an adverse event happen with a physician practicing. Using the compact process, you go to the Hawaii board and you follow your normal practice to, uh, to protect yourself as a patient. I feel like we really do need more doctors here in on the big island. It would just help alleviate a lot of stress. Joining the Interstate Medical Licensure Compact could certainly be good medicine to ease Hawaii's healthcare weaknesses, 
but there's more that we could do as well. The Interstate Compact for Doctors doesn't cover nurses and other healthcare professionals like emergency medical services personnel, physical therapists, psychiatrists, and others. They still need to jump through a bunch of licensing hoops if they want to practice in Hawaii. For example, nurses in any of these blue states can easily travel and work in all the other blue states because they all belong to the Interstate Licensure Compact. But Hawaii is not a part of that agreement, so nurses who want to move here have to start from scratch. Many bills were introduced this year at the Hawaii State Legislature proposing that Hawaii join compacts for other healthcare professionals, not just doctors, but apparently we'll have to wait until next year's legislative session to see any progress on those. Our lawmakers have the power to attract more healthcare workers to Hawaii without jeopardizing public health or safety or adding to the government's administrative burden. Even if the licensure reform is signed by the governor, it still won't be a cure-all but it will be a step in the right direction to help provide you the safe medical services that you need. Now, if you want to learn more about what you can do to help improve healthcare access in Hawaii, lower your medical health expenses, and get the healthcare you deserve, go to www.grassrootinstitute.org. And if you have a story to tell us about how difficult it is to get healthcare in Hawaii, please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and to find out when we'll make another video, be sure to subscribe.